Hey everyone, it's Glam3. Welcome to episode 57 of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, I failed at doing things in whatever this place is. Where are we? Pirate Stronghold, right. Uh, so I failed at doing stuff here, but we get to play with this really cool orb, and I said next time we're gonna go and get this treasure chest, so let's do that. Oh wait, I should probably do a barrel roll as long as there's all these barrels everywhere. This is the only other time I've seen barrels in this game. Come on, I can't roll it? Oh, that's a roll. That counts as a roll. Whoa. Physics? Where did you come from? Whoa! Okay, then. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. What is gonna be in here? It's probably something lame like a map. Uh, something lamer, like a monster horn. Also, why does it say well-crafted horn? Like, and it says made of sturdy animal bone. Like, did they use animals' bones to make a horn, or... I don't know what's going on there. Uh, people people in Hyrule, or people just in Skyloft, are messed up with their, like, tumbleweed constructions. Everything's made of tumbleweed. I just don't know what to say to that. Who would make everything out of tumbleweed? Just a madman. Uh, okay, so I need... Timey time magic for that. And timey time magic for that. Okay, so... Let's go get our time magic. I love the way that glows. Hey you, stay dead. Okay. Ah, a predicament. That was quite easily solved. Okay, oops. That's just, okay. One, two. Uh, failing, okay, this is bad. Fee, do you want to tell me about how badly I'm doing? Because I would be so grateful. Okay, I mean I have a fairy, so I'm not gonna die, but I don't wanna lose to one of these rotating pillars. One, two, eyeball. Okay. Uh, good enough. So, well, the point of that was... something. See, I still can't go here. Oh, but I can go here now. And in here we have... Isn't this where we were already? Yes, it is. Okay. I guess just we need to get it into here. Okay. And probably something like this. And maybe there's a switch on the other side? Hopefully? Maybe it's under this thing. Oh wait, there's the switch. It's right there. Okie dokie. Oh, we didn't even see it open, did we? Magic door. Okay, time shift orb. And let's fit. Oh no, the. Oh my! Really? Why did you even do that? You didn't even give me a fair chance. Well, there goes my fairy. Okay. Now. Gust bellows. Whoa, he moved the time shift orb. That's weird. Anyway. Okay. I do not want to be that close to your face. Oh, right. He has two sides. Bipolar enemies, go! Whoa. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll just work on your friend for now. Or no. Okay. Whatever works for you. Who designed you in this way? Oh, I don't care. Alright, one down. If my math skills are anything to go by, there's two more to go. Oops. I am not a fan of this guy. Okay, there. Uh... Okay, he has glowing eyes of madness, and he's dead. Maybe all they really wanted was a friend. Oh well. Let's take this guy with us. Ooh, and plug him in. Plug him in, plug him in. And that did... Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Alrighty. Wait, even though this is my favorite part of the game, it's also really pointless the way it works. Like, you don't actually get anything done. It's just, like, Fee saying, Oh, I just realized we should probably do this. Hey, report master! The power of the time shift orb appears to have caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside to further assess the situation. See, that's a perfect example of things Fee doesn't need to say. Like, what were we going to do? Although, I guess maybe if you're playing it for the first time, you might not instantly think to go back outside if you think there's more to do, but still. Here's something interesting, though. Ship. Alright. What are these things? Looks like Mermaid Pinocchio. Maybe that's important. I have information to report. I don't know, I just... I wish Fee didn't say before she tells you the information, like, I have information to tell you. It's like when people ask, can I ask you a question? I don't need you to ask if you can ask me a question. You already asked me a question. It was if you could ask a question. So, there's a 60% probability that these masts and these sails are from the ship that protects the neighbor's flag. Why? What? How do you know this? Okay, well, the good news is now I can search for the ship. So, let's see. Any ships around? Ooh, there's a ship. My calculations are correct. There's a 5% chance that this is the ship we're looking for. Oh, one thing about the ship, though. It's invisible! As he said earlier. Ready to set sail? To sea! I mean sand! I mean... Oh, whatever. So yeah, now what we need to do is track down the ship using dowsing. And yeah, it's invisible, but we can attack it, and then we'll be able to see it. So, let's look around. The cool thing is that you can still move around and boost. Why am I going... Okay, I was pointing in the wrong direction. Try not to do that. But you can actually um, use your boost and everything, and control the cannon. Oh, can you control the cannon? No, you can't control the cannon, I don't think. But you can at least douse while moving. And the ship looks to be over there. Oh, crap. Also, this is the only area in the game you see, like, aquatic version of these guys, I think. What the heck? How is this? Isn't this out of our boundaries? Oh, he's probably all the way over there. Oh. Okay, well, let's just sail over there for a little bit. In the meantime, I can talk about other things. Like, questions for you guys. For example... Uh, you know how I'm doing that poll? Well, I've been thinking. I don't know if I'm gonna go do those games right away. And I think you guys would agree with me, because the Wii U is coming out. As I've been talking about for, like, the last, like, 200 videos. And by 200, I mean two. Uh, and... I don't wanna... Be stuck playing... Those games. Not that they're bad, they're really great games. But I don't wanna be stuck playing those games when I could be showing you guys some fun Wii U experiences like New Super Mario Bros. U and Rayman Legends and stuff. Where is the ship? Over there. So yeah, I just don't want to miss out on playing those games. Like, I want to do New Super Mario Bros. U li um, not live. Well, I could do it live. That might be cool. But I want to do it blind, which I think would be really fun. But actually, tell me that in the comments, not as a comment question, just as, you know, what would you rather have me do? So I don't want to make the poll pointless. I will use it at some point. Oh, this thing is this thing is really moving around. I should just stay in dowsing mode. Okay. Now we're really close. Oh, we're really close. Oh crap, we actually hit it. That's how close we were. <laughs> Did you see it, Fooweep? That's my ship, firm. We must pursue it and keep pounding it with the cannon. Zert. Yes, destroy my ship! Whatever you say. Anyway, yeah, put that in the comments, though, what you want me to do about that. Also, on another random note, does anyone know when Korra is going back on TV? Because it's been a while, it feels like. Anyway, after that extremely unrelated side thing... Whoa! 
I love this area just because it looks so much. It looks so different from everywhere else in the game. Like that one shot, just looks so different. Oh, and we get a really cool intro this time. That's really neat. And wow, we're already on our next dungeon. Sand ship. The worst ship ever built. Come for a fun cruise. Die of heat stroke. Meet new friends. Skeletons. So yeah, here's the horrifying, terrible, but romantic ship of love, the sand ship. And next time, ooh, bones. I think you can tell what's going to happen here. Next time, we will adventure through this ship, or at least we'll start adventuring. It's actually a really cool area just because it's not really... I mean, it's just one of those areas that's a dungeon, obviously, but it's designed in a really interesting way. And it has some really fun stuff to do in it. So, I will see you guys then. The comment question is, what is the most pointless thing you've ever done in a Zelda game? Put that in the comments below. Things I always say. You can subscribe by pressing the button above, as you know. Links, no pun intended, to my Facebook and Twitter are on my channel. And stuff like polls. All that stuff. I already talked about the poll. How it might not actually do anything, but the chat. Stuff like that. So you can go do all of that, and I think that is all. I didn't save, but I will see you guys next time. That's a lame exit. I just did a normal slice. Next time.